Dani and Dave and this is our Camino Francis journey. This video is the first in the series and while video can't possibly convey the experience that is the Camino, we feel compelled to share our adventure with you as best we can. We really hope you enjoy it. Our 779 kilometre journey begins in St John Pied de Port. We arrive there from Paris by train and before setting off we spend a couple of days in St John soaking up its beauty and its atmosphere. We used the time to register and get our credentials, to buy last minute items and organise our suitcases to meet us in Santiago. The latter was insanely easy, much more so than choosing the final content of our backpack. Day one of our journey, we rise before the sun to start our 25k hike to Roncesvalle. Full of excited energy and a little apprehension, we set off to find the place that marks the beginning of the way. Alcos, I think it's pronounced. We have to go this way because the Pyrenees, the Napoleon Way, is still closed due to weather. But this is just a beautiful valley. Glad we didn't miss it. And this is a really nice downhill stretch, so enjoying that. Beautiful spot down in here. At 14 k's in, into our 22 k journey to Russell Valles from Saint Pierre. How are you feeling, Lan? Good. Yep, pack good. Yeah. Shoes good. Bit high on my head at the moment. Oh yeah. But I'll just that shortly. Been fine. Yep. Just yeah, definitely the hip flexors. Getting the big workout going up these hills. And uh, the pack especially hold most of the weight around the hips. It's coming into a little teeny town. up around a big big cutting and detoured down into a beautiful valley the buds are just starting to come out on all the branches the next week to two weeks um, will be full of leaves and everything all these trees feet are doing well hip flexors a little bit sore a pack on the hips but all in all pretty good For me, I'm hot, I'm thirsty, but my feet are good. I think my hip flexors are okay. My back's going to be sore though, because I can feel that all oh, nothing <laughs> but climb hills today. So, definitely 50 bucks. Mm, I think only 15 tomorrow. ...of our first day walking. It's all been uphill. About how many kilometers? 20, 22? Right. Yeah. Nearly 23. Nearly 23 kilometers. Literally all uphill. Two to go. Two kilometers to go. Hopefully it's a bit flatter, but we've made our way all the way up through this valley today from St. John Pidport. Quite, quite a run.
up and we're over. Great effort, honey. <laughs> Anything to say? Oh, they're back to spec down there, did you see? <laughs> so we continue on. We continue on down. We sleep our first night in a magnificent pilgrim's hostel at Ronchevali. The hostel was established close to 900 years ago to shelter weary pilgrims as they crossed the Pyrenees. Today, the volunteers remain true to the original mission. They are kind and encouraging as they greet the string of novice pilgrims exhausted and overwhelmed by their first day on the way. They nourish us and they provide us with a safe place to rest and recover from the exertion of the day. We're woken at 6am by the haunting chants of Benedictine monks. Disorientated, it takes a minute or two to remember where we are and what on earth we're doing here. By the time the fog of sleep is cleared from our eyes, our stomachs are calling. Breakfast! Refreshed and renewed after a feast of bread and jam, orange juice and strong coffee, we set off on the 21 kilometres to Zabiri. Fingers crossed for some downhill. We're up on top of the hill. Amazing views up here. More hills. More hills, a few more hills. No, nothing bad as the first one. Beautiful. And a little bit of snow up the top there. See in the distance. So that's the other side. You can just see the snow line at the top of there. Through the trees. Amazing arches. Little town down the bottom there. I think we're walking down into that now. Program day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Big eagle up there or hawk circling around the top of the hill. You don't think of it at the time, but you cover the ground. Definitely. The path to Zabiri is full of spectacular landscapes. There's a few ups and some challenging descents, but there's also an abundance of friendly, interesting folk to share the way. Hi, right, Perry. Take it easy. Darling. Zabiri. Zabiri. Medieval bridge. Wow, it's beautiful. Arriving in Sibiri, we farewell new friends who will walk on to Pamplona. We drink cool Spanish beer and search out a comfy bed for the night. Crystal clear water. That's a troll under that bridge. A welcoming party. <laughs> Having allowed too much time to reach Pamplona, we had a day to spare. So on day three, we stopped over in the famous village of Akaretta, just six kilometres from Zibiri. Very, um, Game of Thrones. To the film buffs, you'll note Hotel Akaretta as the place Martin Sheen's character Tom first meets Sarah in the Camino film The Way. The hotel is ancient, circa around 1723. It's stunning and very welcoming. <laughs> We're waiting for our hotel to open at 12 o'clock so we can have coffee and something to eat. It's a little bit eerie that there's nobody here. <laughs> Horses and dogs. That's it. We're early. There's no one to be found in the town at all. We explore the village for a while and then wander down the hill to La Sonania to find lunch and Spanish wine.
As we slip through the small empty villages, it seems that it's only the local cats and dogs that are there to note our passage. The walk from Akaretta to Pamploma was gentle. We strolled through small wooded forests and by green pastures, with the cold clear Aga River a constant companion. Before long the landscape shifted to an urban sprawl as we made our way ever closer to the ancient city of Pamploma. The Magdalena Bridge signalled our arrival at the fortified city. The bridge, built in the 11th century, is the second oldest bridge in Pamploma and guides pilgrims towards the city's gates. Huge. Soon we enter the city. The contrast between the solitude of the way and these streets, so full of sound, laughter, joy, music, movement, well, it couldn't be more glaring. This is Pamploma, and we've arrived. Check this out. 